Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm super excited to be doing another palette bingo here on my channel. And I feel like I haven't done one for a while and this one is gonna be a ton of fun, I feel like. And I love doing palette bingos. These are so much fun for me to film because it just gives me a chance to do something out of my everyday routine, out of my comfort zone. And I just, I feel like it's such a fun way to like reignite my excitement with eyeshadow palettes in my own collection and to just do something creative. So I'm actually gonna be doing this a little bit different from the usual palette bingos that I'm used to seeing at least, and I'm gonna be doing two different eyeshadow palettes in my collection and merging the two together, and I'm so excited for them. So the first palette that I'm gonna be utilizing is actually this one right here. It's a little bit older in my collection. Well, it's about a year old now. I picked this up last year, it was Fenty Beauty's holiday release. This is the Galaxy palette. It is a beautiful all shimmer palette. It's absolutely beautiful. There's such a wide variety of shades in here and I feel like I haven't reached for it at all in 2018 just because as much as it's a beautiful palette, I feel like I've kind of lost um, inspiration from it. And I was debating whether or not I wanted to declutter this palette actually and I brought it up to Alexi and she suggested that I try to do a palette bingo with it because I would definitely feel like re-inspired by the palette, maybe try some color combinations that I've never done before. However, this being a all shimmer palette, I feel like that just isn't going to work for me personally or like my personal makeup style, but that would be actually a really cool challenge to try. And that suggestion definitely got me thinking about how to utilize it in a palette bingo and it made me realize that I could definitely pair it with this palette. Alexi sent this to me, she decluttered this palette from her collection and she sent it to me alongside like a ton of birthday gifts and I actually did a palette bingo with the Nabla palette that she sent me and I haven't really had much opportunity to play with this one and I was so excited to get this from her. This is the Blush Tribe Blossom Palette. I've used it a handful of times but I definitely haven't used it enough. And it is an all matte palette so I'm really excited to pair this palette with the Galaxy palette. I feel like it could be a really disjointed kind of look but it could be a really cool look that I come up with a lot of color. Definitely there are options for neutrals in both of these palettes, but it could be a really fun, colorful look. So out of like my everyday norm, I have been wearing a lot of neutrals and oftentimes I'm not even wearing eyeshadow as of late. I am so excited to be playing with both these palettes together. So if you're interested in seeing what shades I select from each of these palettes and what kind of look I come up with, then please keep on watching. So I'm gonna start by generating the numbers from the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. And what I'm gonna do with this palette is I'm gonna go one to three and then four to seven all the way through to number 14 here. I'm just gonna use random.org to generate two different numbers from this palette. I'm just gonna pull up random.org and minimum one, maximum 14. The first number that I got is number three. And then the second number that I have is number seven. Okay, I kind of got boring shades, to be honest. So the shades that I got from this palette are both neutrals, so I'm not disappointed in that, but I definitely was expecting to get um, brights out of this, so I'm hoping to get more bright shades from the Blossom palette, but I chose number three, which is this one right here called Planet X, and then this one right here, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this shade and it's called Milky Way. And this one's um, not quite as like chunky glittery in comparison to the majority of this palette. And for the Blossom palette, I'm just gonna go one to four all the way through to number 16. And I am going to pull two different numbers and I might potentially pull a third depending on what I end up getting out of this. So let's just go for it. I have one to 16 on my random generator and I have shade number 11 and I have number seven. A number seven again. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna pull another shade because this is gonna be um, quite an interesting color pairing actually. So I have number seven right here, which is Petunia. And then number 11 is the other shade that I selected, which is this one right here called Flax. These are all the shades that I'm gonna be working with. This first one is Petunia. This next one is called Flax. This one is Planet X and this one is Milky Way. And I think this is a really interesting color scheme. So I have been 
actively trying to come up with a game plan for this color combination. And I think if I don't just hop right into it, then I am not gonna really come up with a game plan for these shades. I think it's best to just start playing and kind of see where it goes. I already have primed my eyelids. I did for the intro and I set them down with my Cap On D Locket powder. I find that powders just blend so much easier once I've set down my eyeshadow and I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna start with Petunia, which is that hot pink shade. It's a little bit more pastel than it looks in the pan, I think, at least based on swatching it. And I'm going to just go with this like smaller blending brush and I'm gonna do it right in the inner portion of my crease, maybe a little bit higher. And we're just gonna see what happens. Yeah, see, it goes a lot more pastel. I have a very just light coat, not coat, but I have a really light wash of that in the inner portion of the crease, all the way to just past the middle. So now I'm just gonna go into Flax, the other shade that I selected from this palette, and I'm going to build it onto the like outer portion of the lid and up into the crease and kind of try to merge it into that shade Petunia. Oh my God, how am I gonna? I don't know how these two colors are gonna just like transition together, but we're gonna give it a try. I like never play with multiple shades in the crease. I usually just have one shade in the crease and then maybe a couple shades on the lid. So how the heck do you <laughs> merge these two? I'm gonna go back into that brush that had the pink on it and I'm just gonna try to wash it over. So I've just spent a lot of time really blending and building and it's a little bit patchy, but I think it looks so cool right where these two colors merge and it becomes like a lilac purple. And I did not expect that in the slightest when I started this. I was so scared that there was no way that these two were gonna um, be a little bit more seamless together. But I think this is actually really interesting because it kind of looks like there's a third shade in there. But I promise you guys, I did not use any more colors other than these two and that looks so bomb. So my camera overheated and just like turned off and wouldn't turn back on. So I ended up just intensifying all of the colors, just like really making them so much more saturated. And I'm, I'm in love with how watercolor like this crease is and I don't want to ruin it. Like I'm so nervous that I'm going to ruin it, but I have to play with the other palette. So I'm going to try to do like a half cut crease on the inner portion of the lid. And I'm not good at cut creases and my eye shape doesn't really lean well towards cut creases either. So I'm gonna give it a try. Like my heart is like racing because I hate doing this. I've done it a couple times and I just, I get really nervous doing these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my ColourPop. Um, this is the No Filter Concealer. And I'm just gonna put very little on my lids but I'm gonna go right in from the wand and just bring it on this inner portion. And then I want to, I think I'm gonna use a angled liner brush. I'm just gonna carve out the shape. Okay, it's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> Straight up, I know it's not gonna be perfect. So it's definitely not perfect, but I'm not gonna bring it up above my natural crease. And when my eyes are open, you don't see my natural crease at all because of my hooded eyes. So I don't really care to have that line absolutely perfect. I know a lot of people with hooded eyes will take the cut crease up above their natural crease, but I really want this look to kind of focus on the crease um, blending that I have here, these beautiful colors. So I just want to keep this um, mostly on the mobile lid. So it's not perfect at all, but that's fine. I don't really care. Um, I'm gonna go right on along that edge with a little bit of this powder foundation because I always have a struggle with blending um, where I put the concealer down with the eye look that I created. So I'm just gonna do that. I've never tried this technique, but 
So I'm gonna do that like preemptively. And then I'm just gonna use my finger with the shade Milky Way. So that like lighter shade there, I'm just gonna do that on my finger. And I'm gonna apply that to the inner portion of the lid while the concealer is still a little bit tacky. I'm just going to use my finger with the shade Planet X and I'm just going to tap that into the very center of the lid and into the shade Flax. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to re-intensify Flax and kind of try to blend those two together a little bit better. So I am finding the transition between Flax and Planet X to be a little bit difficult, but I do think that this looks pretty cool. I really wish that I didn't have Planet X to have to play with, because um, it's kind of throwing off the look. It's just a little bit too dark and heavy in comparison to everything else, but it's not, it's not bad but I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go do the other eye off camera and when I see what both eyes look like, I might kind of want to tweak it a little bit, but I will be right back. So I ended up finishing up the other eye, of course, and then I just decided I would finish up the rest of my base. I'll link everything that I've used on the rest of my face down below. I also was picking at my face, so I'm gonna have to conceal that after. Um, I actually was picking a couple nights ago and so that's why I have like all of these dry, flaky, really not nice looking spots, but regardless, that doesn't even matter. Anyway, so I'm gonna finish up the lower lash line and I'm gonna keep it really simple with the lower lash line. I think I'm just gonna go in with the shade Flax, so that gorgeous teal right there. And I'm just gonna smudge that across like maybe the outer two thirds of the lower lash line. And just to brighten up the inner corner and to just pull along that inner portion of the lower lash line, I'm just gonna go right back into this shade right here. And I'm really gonna tap off my brush because I noticed quite a bit of glitter fallout when I was using this on my lid. And now that my base is done, I really don't want to um, get a ton of glitter everywhere. So I'm just going to really try to buff that into that inner corner. Maybe I over tapped. <laughs> And then I'm gonna drag it. Yeah, I did get some glitter on my face, but that's okay. So now that I'm all done with the eyes, I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and pick out a lip and share with you guys the completed look after everything's done. So now my full face is done. Here is the completed look that I came up with utilizing those four randomly selected shades. This was a little bit of a challenge, but I am so happy with the result. I love the way that the like turquoisey green and that hot pink merge together right here in the center of the crease to create this pastel purple. And so I played off of that with this Annabelle waterline pencil. This is the waterline matte coal eyeliner in the shade lavender. I popped that into my waterline just to really play off of that purple shade and to really open up the eyes. On my lips, I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury 100 Point Perk um, at Sephora that recently came out. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. It's the teeniest, tiniest little <laughs> lipstick, but I've always been curious about this shade, and so it was the perfect opportunity to try this guy out. And of course, I had to use a Project Pan Roulette product, so I went in with my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Bash over top of that. And I think that this is the kind of look that really does suit this more, um, it's not necessarily glittery, but very sheeny sort of glossy lip. I'm so happy with the way that this look turned out. It's very out of season, that's for sure. Um, we are leading up to Christmas time, and so we we're like right in the thick of winter here. And I'm really, really happy with the way that this turned out. It's very tropical, a little bit fun. I'm really happy with it. It's super dramatic, it's super bold and fun, and I had an absolute blast. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. Let me know in the comments down below what you would have done with this color selection. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.